Welcome back to Cricket for Americans. Nick here. Gabe, the Night Watchman. Ooh. Nick, you know, this is a, and I joke around, all right, when I say, oh, I hate it because Nick was right or whatever. Um, you know, that's tongue in cheek. You know, we, we, we banter because we have fun. You know what I mean? He loves to get on my nerves. I love to get on his nerves. But I got to give credit where credit's due. And, you know, when Nick is right, he's right. And, you know, the audience, to their credit, some of them have mentioned it before in the past. Now, earlier this year, A.B. de Villiers retired, period, right? He retired from, the, from, 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 from cricket. However, A.B. de Villiers had, uh, had already retired from international cricket. We had still been watching him play in the IPL. Now, he was a little bit older, but still, you know what I mean? Follow me by here. Follow me if, if you can. I think he was like 37, 38 years old. He's getting old, all right, up there in age. And you've heard of other guys uh, 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 that have uh, retired. Moin Ali, right? They, uh, uh, you, you need an all-rounder. Um, you need a spinner. We're talking about England. Moin Ali retired from Test. He's still playing white ball cricket, and he's still playing in the IPL. He got paid a lot of money. I mean, a lot of money in the in, in the IPL. Del Stain, right? We saw Del Stain playing the IPL. Hasn't played uh, um, uh, international cricket since, what, 2014, 2016? Dwayne Bravo, recently retired, been playing for a while. I mean, it, it, it's what you mentioned. And, and now with Quentin DeCock, a guy this young, I think that's my bigger concern, Nick, because he's only 29. He hasn't even hit 30, bro. He just turned 29. And to retire? Holy cow. I think that... Add I, extra years, add extra legs, you yeah. know? But if, if this going to be the... Is this going to be the norm? Where the test guys, the, 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 the best players in the world are going to say, you know what, I've given whatever, five, ten years to test, but it's more profitable to play in domestic leagues like the IPL and the BBL... And we're going to not see those guys stay around for a long time. I, 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 I'm concerned. Moeen Ali is still a young guy, too. He walked away from tests, okay? Uh, it, it, it's, it's starting to come to light to me. And some people have mentioned it, but you said, said it to, in today's stream. Is this the beginning of the end for tests where more and more big names are going to walk away? But I hate, I hope that, Nick, I, I know we're talking about what I learned. I learned that you were right and there, there's a pattern starting to establish but I'm praying to God you're wrong because just when we're getting into cricket, we're going to lose the, or the, our favorite format. I mean, come on, gosh. I mean, it, it, you know, it, it, it sucks. I think it's, I think if it is, I don't think it'll ever completely go away. I think it's going to be a very, very slow death, right? Very, very slow, but you're going to, I think you are going to have more players. If we haven't already beforehand who are going to opt to just, I mean, it's the first format I know when guys retire that they say goodbye to. There's got to be a reason for that. It's exhausting, right? And we can speculate all we want. I don't want to speculate anything whatsoever. But all I know is I have no problem with him making that decision. I really don't. I really, really don't. And let us know. What do you guys think about some of the conversations we had here? We were kind of up. We were kind of down. We were all over the place. But this match once again, open our eyes to more things that we're seeing with these two specific squads. And South Africa, I mean, just continues to impress. And they have so – it's not just one or two guys. They have so many guys. And I don't even know if they have depth, but they have so many guys who are performing when they're choosing them. Someone's choosing excellently, right? I think it's more than just that. I mean, but here's the thing, Nick. Think about it. In order to arrive in cricket – you have to have test status, right? You don't. You don't have test status. You 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 might as well be USA. I'm just being real. You're an associate nation, cousin. All right. You need test status. That that just and it should be something that is be that, that is just just lauded by players or whatever. And if that's not the case anymore, then what does test status even mean? Honestly, if we don't about, get the best of the not going to change South Africa's test status. This is something that if if I had it my way, this is. 100% being honest, you would have different players in each format because you're able to widen your talent pool. Teams, 
I'm assuming nations, they see a player like a Quentin DeCock right. or Jasper Boomra that plays multiple formats. There's lots of them out there, obviously. And they say, this guy's so good. We can't go Everywhere. without him playing yeah. in T20. Exactly. We can't go without him playing in, all these different things. But you're going to, you're going to, and I understand people are going to say, people have been playing formats for years and years. Really? T20 has been around since the 2000s for crying out loud. It hasn't been around that long. If you had different stars in each format, in my opinion, that would be fantastic. That would be because you delve deep into your talent pool. These guys aren't getting worn out. They can go to every single test match. If they want to do IPL, make some extra money, whatever they want to do. But that's just me being real. But I don't the best, think it's going to ruin their test status. Though. But the best of the best should be playing test. Because that is the but goal how do we for know? every how do we know nation. They're the best of the best. You just assume they're the best because they were good in other formats and they're admirable in, in that test format. You don't open your eyes to what else is out there. But what if you see a Devin Conway who got away? A Devin Conway out there, right? And you're oh, like, man, okay. we didn't think we had spot for him because we had our decock and we had our back of all this guy. I got you, man. I'm just saying. I got you. I'm just like and I was listening to the, the Caribbean uh, Cricket Podcast, and I just feel like the West Indies, my team, has kind of like not prioritized cricket, basically. You know what I'm saying? Not cricket, sorry. Test cricket, right? Why? Because all their players play everywhere else. They play in every single domestic league, the PCL, the, the, the BBL, the IPL, the LPL. They play everywhere. That's their priority. The white ball form of the game. And it has killed their test status because the team is not very good. They, they, they don't have the skill. They don't have the the patience. They don't have the mindset to play test, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying, then, Nick? And the West Indies, is it was uh, once, uh, 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 dude, a, 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 a envied test team, an envied franchise to what it is now. It's like, come on, guys. And I just don't want to see that happen to other test teams. I just don't. I don't want a, a, a guys prioritizing. I don't care. White ball, uh, whether it's international or not, or domestic leagues, IPL or BB on it, over test. I just don't want to see it. And, and maybe that's just me being selfish, but I I plan on going to a test match. And when I go to a test match, Nick, and I'm there for five days and my wife's in a hotel, like, uh, again, bye. Uh, babe, go shopping. Now, she ain't going to be five days. Again, let's be honest. I want to see the best guys out there. I don't want to see no B team. I don't want to see guys that are there because somebody else retired and decided to go. I want to go see. What if Coley's the next guy to say, ah, you know what? I'm done with Tess. You know what I mean? What if the, 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 the I'm just, I put in my time, I'm done with Tess. Now we don't get to see a Coley. Go to every international player who can make way more money playing in, in, in the domestic leagues like the BBL. What if you took the best player off every team? Now they, the, the test, the game of Tess misses those guys. You know what I'm saying, say, bro? And I just don't want it. ICC, fix it. Get these guys more money because you're going to lose them and you will kill Tess. Oh, gosh, dude, I'm so disgusted. I, I just I just think that it's not all bad, dude, and gloom. I really do. I think if you're forced to – if you're forced to extend yourself, you'll find talents that you never knew you had. You'll find players that you never knew were out there because you did not extend it because you didn't need to because you got your wicket keeper for all three formats. Listen. Look at South Africa right now with the young guys they have that are impressing right now against Team India, for crying out loud. That's the proof of the pudding right there, right? I mean, anyway, Keegan Peterson is a, is a great example, right? This guy is uh, mid to late 20s, and he's played, you know, five test match. He was just a man of the series in the last test series with his fifth match being played. Bro, Marco Jansen, the guy you love, he's got 19 wickets. He didn't even play. He didn't, they didn't need him this, this match. He didn't play. They That's arrested insane. him this match. So to your point, you will discover young talent, but I just still want test prioritized, and that's me being selfish. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the sky has fallen. It's coming too quick, but I keep So you're just mad that he guys. said goodbye to test and he didn't yes. say goodbye to ODI or yeah, T20. I'm mad that the, that the best players and a lot of the big guys are retiring from test and preferring to play the, the, the white ball format or the shorter format because I just think test should be – it, it should be like, bro, like going to the World Series in baseball. You know what I mean? It's like that's the that's the creme de la creme, man. And and if you play test, that means you're the best of the best. And if somebody beats you for their spot, that's one thing. But if you just got the spot because the guy that was ahead of you ended up retiring to go play a shorter format of the game, then you didn't really win the, 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 the that spot, if that makes sense. You know what I mean, bro? But, you know, I guess uh, we have different views on it, as always. 
But I do think you're right. This is a pattern that's starting to establish. And maybe you guys can let us know in the, in the comment, other guys we might have missed. But I know for a fact, Moin Ali, too young to be retiring for Tess. Quentin DeCock, too young to be re retiring from Tess. These aren't like these guys that are 37, 38 years old. No, these are young guys. Like, what's going on, man? It, it's a great conversation. It kind of morphed itself in at the end of our three wickets here. We'll have more and more to talk about this. But, I mean, again, if I'm an athlete and I want to spend time with my young family and I want to spend time with my wife and all that kind of stuff, and I can skip the five-day test matches that are going to take a month to finish the series with a certain team and spend that time with my family and still have enough money to pay for stuff or whatever, that's very, very tempting, right? And for you. not everyone's as lucky as, as Quentin DeCock to be able to choose which format to play and which not to play because he's so talented. But, I mean, it's it's an interesting topic, interesting conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us know what you think about our thoughts here on either topic. And, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll separate this into a different quick little cricket combos video so it's not messed in. But let us know your thoughts regardless. And until next time. That's six runs.